China has landed another spacecraft on the moon. Images of the Chang'e 5 touching down were released via state media. The final shots show one of the probe's legs casting a shadow on the lunar surface. Let's speak now to Bloomberg News Editor Bruce Einhorn. Bruce, what does the mission hope to achieve? This is the first time that anybody's gone to the moon to try to recover um, uh, material from the moon and return it to Earth since the 1970s. So China's mission this time uh, will be collecting a couple kilos of moon dirt uh, and uh, bringing it back to Earth. Once it's back to Earth, then they'll uh, make it available for all sorts of research. And how quickly is China's space program developing? Uh, pretty fast. Uh, this is uh, just the latest in a series of accomplishments China's had in space. Most notably in 2019, early in 2019, China landed a probe on the far side of the moon. That's the first time any country has done that. Uh, uh, China has big ambitions going forward. They're building a space station of their own. Uh, uh, eventually, they want to build a research base on the moon. Uh, which um, uh, they say may be completed within the next 10 years or so. We'll see. Is this a Cold War space race 2.0? It's, it, uh, it's different than what happened in the 1960s and the 1970s with the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Um, there was uh, certainly a lot of competition back then. Um, uh, uh, there was um, a fight to get to the moon first. Um, there was... Uh, uh, a lot at stake when it came to both science as well as um, geopolitics and bragging rights. Um, uh, what China's doing is not uh, quite as um, uh, overtly political, I think, but certainly there is a, a very strong political angle to it as well. President Xi Jinping very much wants China to be a superpower. Uh, superpowers have space programs. So uh, China is pushing ahead. They do want to narrow the gap with the Americans. All right, Bloomberg's Bruce Einhorn in Hong Kong.